Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. All right, five minutes after eight o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Let me let me just finish the thing I started to tell you before the break. All right, so there was this guy down in South Florida. His name was Teed. What was his first name? Oh, Doctor Cyrus Teed. He believed he was the Messiah, and when he died, uh, his followers believed uh, that he was going to rise again in three days. Uh, he he died in December of 1908. His followers propped his body up in a tin bath in the town theater, assuming he would resurrect after three days. Mm -hmm. When the three days passed and he didn't resurrect, the townspeople put him in a mausoleum by the beach. For 13 years, his followers kept vigil, thinking he would resurrect. Then finally, a hurricane actually washed his body out to sea. Uh, The stories of Teed and his followers haunting the town are still alive. That's that's where this was going. Many visitors call hearing whispers behind them wow. and, and many of his believers wow. think it's Teed who wow. is now talking to them Mm-mm. anyway so if you go oh, down to St. John's River in Seminole County that's where you'll you'll encounter these ghosts gosh there, there you go wow now we're going to talk baseball with Galen yes. and, but baseball and blood with Galen you know Galen is on the phone <laughs> Sorry. I sh- you know I knew I looked at the clock I said I don't have enough time for this story and mm-hmm. I started telling it to you anyway I shouldn't have done that so I, I took a part of Galen's segment in order to tell you the end of the story, <laughs> the rest of the story, the, the Paul Harvey rest of the story. Good morning, Galen. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Larry, Robin, how are y'all? Pretty good. Where are you right now? Gainesville. Still in Gainesville. In Gainesville. Already in your office? Uh, no. No, <clears throat> but I'm almost there. Did you Google lactating men by chance? <laughs> no. No, no. I, I conveniently did not. <laughs> I did. Now that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> that's scary. That that scares me more than ghosts. <laughs> I think <laughs> that was yesterday's story. For those who wonder what the heck we're talking about, yeah. Uh, did Did you hear? Oh, oh there's a, 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 a something I want to tell you about music and sports. But first, let me ask you: How's the blood supply? Um, we're we're again still need no neg, and uh, we still need a uh, platelet donor. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, kind of kind of build up before spring break. Our our blood usage goes pretty high during the next. You know, two to three weeks, it'll it'll kind of uh, peak, and then it'll come down to another level uh, usage. But really need own eggs and uh, platelets right now. I remember during spring break, I used to go to Daytona and fit in. <laughs> 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 that hasn't happened in a while. It'll fit in during bike week. I feel like old kid. people are there. Oh, you think? Now you're Bikers like, uh, are why are you stalking people? <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> I could be your grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not grandfather. Oh, father. Yeah. yeah, I could be a grandfather. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, guess you so. Could. Wow. Yes, you could. How does time go by so fast? That's just it's a mystery to me. Mm-hmm. Did you see the story yesterday? This lady in Florida, um, her, her, the, the mother and the daughter had kids, had babies on the exact same day. Oh wow. Like two hours apart. Did you see that story? No. Wow. No. Yeah, Gosh. that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that's kind of. Like, I bet. Gee, that's yeah. a whole new family for the, the uh, grandmother. The, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, really. All right, the message that Galen brings us, the important message of donating yeah. blood, is brought to you by Penn Flooring. So make sure you thank them and uh, take a moment and go to their showroom, and you will probably say, yeah, you know, we, we could use a new carpet in the house. And they'll, mm-hmm. they'll install it. They'll tell you everything you need to know, and you'll be happy, and you'll have a remodeled home. At least the floor part will be remodeled. The, the showroom that I'm talking about is on 17th Street. The address is 1201 Southwest 17th Street. If you know where the bridge is that crosses the railroad tracks on 17th, it's right there on the yeah. other side of that. <laughs> that would be the west side of that? Yes. The west side of that bridge? The west side, yes. And make sure you thank them for uh, sponsoring this segment and uh, giving Galen this platform so yes. we can talk and we can be silly with them. <laughs> So I, ha- I want to tell you about, about sports, and, ba- and, sp- sports and, and music, and then there's some baseball stuff I want to tell you, which you probably already know. But anyway, w- there was a whole big article this morning about the trading of, of teams, especially baseball players. Everybody's getting ready for the baseball season. Am I right about that? Right. 
Okay. So there was speculation of one of your guys. Let's see. Uh, manager John Farrell says the Red Sox fully expect Alan Craig to be with the team on opening day. So this is good news, bad news? What is this? Uh, it's just news. I mean, I, I don't expect them to be there, but I think that's what John has to say. So. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's early. It's but, really, really early. But I was thinking, can, and, can you imagine if this happened you know, in music, you know, where, like, the Rolling Stones, they trade players with Aerosmith, and, yeah. you know, <laughs> we'll trade Mick for, uh, for Steven Tyler. Okay. Yeah. You know. yeah as, as long as you didn't go to the, uh, oh, heck, what was the name of that band where the drummer always dies? Um Def Leppard? No, Def Leppard, the guy lost his arm. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, the spoof movie. Oh, what was it called? Oh, oh, uh, Spinal Tap. Yeah. Spinal Tap, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spinal he traded tap. for the drummer, Spinal Tap. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what band always had a lot of uh, dead members, too, was, um, oh, The Pretenders. Oh, yeah. Pret- Every time. Buddy Holly. Yeah. Uh, Buddy, Holly, well, Buddy Holly himself died, but with The Pretenders, yeah. uh, Chrissy yeah. Hind was the lead singer. And she's like the only one left. Everybody yeah. else died. Yeah, right, right. right. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. Makes you wonder about Chrissy Hine. She was a talented yeah. one of the group. Black <laughs> Widow. That should be her new name. Right? Well, what, what do you think about the whole uh, Blurred Lines case with Marvin Gaye? And, oh, I know, I know. Uh, well, you know, it, it happens a lot. You know, that, that song. It does uh, happen a lot. I Won't Back Down, the, the Tom Petty song, sounds just like... Uh, Oh gosh! What was the, it? Was so a, stay, it just won a Grammy? Stay or stay with me? Yeah, yeah stay with me. Yeah, yeah. stay with me. Okay, we'll back out. And it really okay. does, but it's but hey, it's three notes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I won't back down. That's actually two notes. Well, uh, uh, the second two notes are the same note. It's not like uh, Garth Brooks taking Paul Simon's song. I mean, it happens evident. a lot. George Harrison with with uh, you know, my sweet lord sounded like uh, she she's so fine or he's yes. so fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, but, I, I mean, uh, that's going to be a huge... They're going to have to pay a ton of money for that. Oh, yeah, $7.4 million. $7.4 million. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Which, which, if you think about what that means, that means that the, the, the songwriter royalties probably have garnered... Because they're probably still giving half credit to whoever wrote... Uh, Farrell Williams and... and uh, I think Farrell Williams, was he the only writer, or did he write it with uh, the Thick guy? I think he wrote it with somebody. With Robin Thick. Yeah, but still, yeah. but still, that their half is probably also seven point four million dollars. Yeah, so they're, right. they're all coming out looking pretty good from they the song. Are. Yeah, they well, and that song is going to be around for a while too, so they'll make money off of the for a while. Yeah. So, and and the same thing happened with the Beach Boys. Uh, they took they. Uh, I mean, the melody of, of Chuck Berry's song. Oh, Surfing USA. Uh, Surfing USA. Thank you. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. It yeah. happens a lot, but uh, you would think that they would have figured that out. All right, so I have some... Uh, uh, it took a long time. I have here, I don't know if you've seen this story or not. Oh, by the way, did you see this other story? Major League Baseball interested in playing in Cuba? Did you see yeah, it? yeah, wow. that's been out for a while. Okay. They um, And the reason is, is because, um, first of all, it's an untapped market for because it's been closed for so long. But more importantly, uh, it's about going down there and recruiting baseball players. Major League Baseball has been a big proponent of freeing, you know, and, and, and improving relations with Cuba. Um, they have, most, some teams actually have scouts in Cuba that do nothing but scout Cuban baseball players. What do you think Fidel thinks? Do you think, you know, I, this is what I wanted to do. This is my fantasy. I've yeah. always wanted to do this. If you're <laughs> going to come down here, I don't care how old I am, I want to be on a team. <laughs> That's right. He does. I mean, he the way he loves baseball. Oh, yeah, I know. He's passionate about it, and, and it's the only sport played there. Oh, you is know? that right? That's the thing. The only sport. Yeah. Well, that's because he's, he's the dictator. And, yeah. Well, right. Raul, no, right. No football for you. <laughs> he's, 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 a, he's a sports yeah. Nazi. <laughs> but if, you, but if you think about it, there's very few sports they play, right? They box. Um, they, that's why they have such great boxers. They have, uh, you know, some track and field, but not much. Um, and they play football and they play baseball. That's it. So um, that's why the best athletes in Cuba are, are baseball players, whereas in our country our best players are typically – um, football players or basketball players. Hmm. So interesting. Uh, so when we come back from the break, um, I, in music, if you were to have this trading thing that goes on, then you would also have this other thing that goes on in baseball or in sports in general is predicting the the year to come. 
Yes. Uh, so when we come back, I have the future of every major league franchise, a detailed breakdown. I'm not going to give you the details. I'll just tell you the numbers. Every major league franchise, and I'll tell you who they think is going to be the number one at the end of the season coming up. Okay. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you not seen this article yet? Nazi. Yeah, you have <laughs> not. Do you not see this article? Nazi. I have. I have. Oh, you, you saw the article? negative me? Huh? Have you, did you just double negative me? Have Maybe. you not, not seen this article? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hold, we'll be right back, and then we'll do that. That'll be fun. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Today, looking humid with some sunshine. A couple showers, mainly in the afternoon, a high of 81 to 85. Then tonight, some spotty evening showers, otherwise becoming partly cloudy, a low of 64 to 68. Tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sunshine, a stray shower and humid with a high of 80 to 85. And then for the end of the work week on Friday, variable clouds, a shower, and a high of 79 to 83. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Evan Duffy. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're O'KellaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include below charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. All right, 17 minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Baseball is uh, a big topic for Galen, and I happen to stumble upon this story uh, that has the future power rankings for the baseball teams that are about to start their... When does the season start, Galen? Uh, April 2nd, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, the projected future of every major league franchise. Are there only 30, or did they just give me 30? There's only 30. There's only 30. Okay, so number 30. You don't want to be number 30 on this list, do you? No. N- number 30 no. is the Philadelphia Phillies. And they, they have no hope. That's all I'll say. They have nothing to cheer about. If you're a Philly fan, there is nothing to cheer about. Well, so they're a real underdog then. They just don't have Not an challenge. underdog. No, no, no. They don't have an un- they don't, they're not an underdog. They have no chance. Oh. So. Hmm. So the Phillies continue to search for the best trade options for their big name veterans. No, they don't. They don't even try with Cole Hamels. <laughs> really? All right. Number that was number thirty. Number twenty nine. We got a long way to go, so I got to be brevity is the soul of wit. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> brevity is the soul of wit. I love gotta that. Remember that. Feeling. Great. All right. Shakespeare. The, what do you think is number twenty nine? Uh, Houston Astros. Tampa Bay Rays. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Let, let's Houston's see. Houston's probably twenty eight. Then. Okay. Let's see. Depends let's see. on which list you're looking at. They suck too. Okay. <laughs> There you go. There's my brevity. I know you're if not I can, fine. if I can send you this, the link to I, this I will article. I tell you, my 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 wife bought me um, for the the Red Sox are playing the Rays on my birthday in June, oh. and uh, so she bought us tickets to the game. So that's going to be cool. Oh, nice. So on my birthday, I'll be cheering for the a real baseball team and not that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to. Well, anyway, they're number twenty nine out of thirty. <laughs> number twenty eight is the Arizona Diamondbacks. Yeah, you, you know they were really good a year ago, but they've just they, they've given up a lot of their their talent just because of the they're they're strapped in cash and all the free agents bailed on them. How do you feel when you, you wake know? up this morning and you see this article? This was just this was uh, published yesterday. Mm-hmm. So maybe oh, I've seen different versions of it. I oh, mean, okay. they, they, everybody ranks their top thirty. That's why number twenty-seven, Robin, Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, okay. 
The thing is, is Milwaukee just can't pitch. They've got uh, some big bats, but they just they can't got some big bats. Pitch. <laughs> By the way, you got a little bat from Jim George waiting for you in here. I know. I need to go buy and pick. Who that signed up. it again? What's the guy's name? Busy. Who signed it? Steve Garvey. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Not to be confused with Steve Harvey, the funny That's guy. Right. <laughs> Is that his name, Steve Harvey? Yeah. 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 Number 26 is the Colorado Rockies. Uh, same situation. They they just uh very young team. So um, the problem is they're playing in the toughest division in baseball. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they, they respond. But they're a very young team. Says this team needs some major pitching help about the Colorado they Rockies. They do. They do. Well, first of all, it's in Colorado. And every, you, you always need pitching help in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number 25 is the Cincinnati Reds. Now, I, I disagree with that. I, I have a lot of people who are ranking them. I think they have a chance to win the NL Central, Larry. I think it's between them and the Cubs. Um, I really do. I think uh, – and, and, well, and the Cardinals, of course. But uh, I, I think I think Cincinnati's got a good pitching staff. I really like Zimmerman. Um, and I, I think they're gonna. I think they're going to be better than people think. I think they have a chance of making the playoffs and actually winning that division. Okay. It says here Cuban right hander Rizel Iglesias could break yeah. camp with the team as a right handed setup man. I don't think he will, but um, you know, they got Cueto who's their starting pitcher and it's probably one of the one of the top five pitchers in baseball. But um I've I've heard a lot about this young guy from, from Cuba. There's a couple of young guys from Cuba this year, so I'll send you a link to this article. Uh, All right, do it. It's it's I believe it was on ESPN. I'm trying to see where I got this from. All right, number twenty four is the Oakland Athletics. Um, you know you you can't underestimate them because every year they somehow manage to do something really really good. They made a real run at it last year and uh, just came up short. But I I actually um, think this team will be better than that. They're playing in a tough division with the Mariners and the uh, Angels, but I think they'll be better than. Than that, I think they'll be a, a, a top ten team at the end of the season. Number Your uh, commentary makes me want to watch a game. Yeah, yeah, the commentary good. is good. Yeah, yeah. Number twenty three is the Miami Marlins. You know, and I'm shocked by this. This is a team that's playing in the NL East, which is uh, arguably one of the weakest divisions in baseball. It's just the Braves are down, um, and and I really believe that uh, this is a team that has a chance of making the playoffs and actually winning the division. I think they're better than the Braves. I think they're better than the Mets. And I know they're better than Philly. So, okay. there you go. Number 22, Minnesota Twins? Uh, they got Joe Maurer, and that's about it. I mean, that's that's all you can hang your hat on if you're a Twins fan. So, 22 is still pretty low they're, on the list. They're, uh, well, they're, I, I have them well below that. I, I think they're much worse than the Marlins. I think oh, really? They, they okay. don't have any young talent. I, I don't like this team. I, I, I'd have them, you know, 25, 26 maybe. In, in, it says here, and I didn't even see this earlier, but it, they give you the ranks from October. It, so now this is the rank today. Minnesota Twins is ranked 22. In October, they were right. ranked number 20. So they dropped two, two points. Well, they, 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 they lost. You know, I, I guess if you think that um, um, Hunter is going to make the difference in that lineup, which I don't, he's 36 years old. Uh, they have some young players, but I, I just don't think they're going to be able to compete. San Diego Padres is number twenty-one. They were they you were know, I, I twenty-six in October. Underrated, way underrated. I, I think the Padres have done some amazing things. Um, if they can, if they get a little bit of pitching, then they're going to be they're going to be in tr uh, a tough team because they're going to be able to hit the ball. Problem is, is they're playing in the NL West, which is by far and away the best division in baseball. So with the Dodgers, who are probably in your top five. Uh, you know they're they they have some really really good talent out there, and then the Giants, of course, have won the World Series last year, probably one, two, or three. So uh, I I I think this team's going to be very very good. All right, number twenty is the Cleveland Indians. They were seventeen nothing in there. October. Nothing. They, they dropped. got nothing there. I, they're, they're, I, again, I think uh, they've got a really really good manager and uh, Terry Francona who won two World Series with the Red Sox, but after that, they don't have much of anything. By the way, I think the Milwaukee Brewers should change their logo back to the that baseball mitt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that mitt was a great I like logo. The mitt. All right, what was I up to? 19. 19 is the Houston Astros. Did I tell you that one already? No. Yeah, Houston and the reason they put Houston that high, and I don't have them that high, is they, they believe in this young talent. Um, I don't believe that young talent wins early in baseball. I, I think... Uh, once they get out, they'll they'll start to play better. But um, I think they'll have a really good April, 
and then they'll fade by July, and then they'll come back in September. But uh, I, I don't think this team can win 70 foot. I, I think they'll win less than 80 games. I think they'll, they'll be a sub-500 team. Number 18 is the Baltimore or- Orioles. The only reason they're there is because they have uh, they have some young pitching that they're relying a lot on. And I can't believe they don't have the Yankees below the Orioles. That's nuts. So whoever put this whole list together is a Yankee fan. <laughs> the, Yankees, there. <laughs> the Yankees the Yankees are going to lose and this is this is completely unbiased. And you ask any Yankees fan, they're going to lose eighty games this year. So By the way, since I told Galen I would send him the, the link, I'll, I'll I'll give the link to you, Robin, so you can put it on Facebook because okay. other people this comes this is complete with graphs and little explanations. Oh, this nice. is and, and the overall scores. This is baseball a good... loves its stats. You got to remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, the sport that invented stats. Number seventeen is the Atlanta Braves. Uh, again, I think the Marlins are a better team than they are right now, but Atlanta's. Let's be honest; they just win the division. Um, Let's see what happens. They moved up since October. Marks on this team. October, they were 22. By the way, I bought yeah. tickets for the Atlanta Braves when Alex and my two nephews were very young. Yeah, you <clears> did. And, they, and then they went on strike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, can you believe that? That one time I bought tickets to Isn't Atlanta. Wow. Toronto Blue Jays are number 16 on the list. Uh, I'm shocked that they're, again, that the – that means they put the Yankees in front of this team. I, I don't know what they're thinking. They, they have a big, <laughs> you just hate the Yankees. No, I'm serious. I Can't think Toronto to has a chance of winning the division. Problem is, is their ace, their young ace, who they expected to get some real support from this year, uh, blew out his, his uh, elbow yesterday. So uh, then that's not reflected in there. If they can pitch, they'll be, they'll be difficult. Detroit, I like this team, though. Detroit Tigers is 15. Detroit just can flat out hit the ball. They lost Matt Scherzer to uh, the Washington Nationals, who will probably be in your top ten. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens with this team. I'm I'm curious as to what the results. See, we should do this in weeks. music. This would be interesting if we did yeah. this in music. Who's going to win the yeah. ground? Well, oh, you know, exactly. You know, they traded Mick Jagger. <laughs> I don't know anybody about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They traded. You know, my, see, a lot of them are solo acts now. You don't have too many yeah. bands, right? That's right. Number fourteen, Seattle Mariners. Uh, underrated. I think this team's a very, very good baseball team. They got some help this year. Um, they have uh, arguably the best pitcher in baseball. They have uh, the best second baseman in baseball. If if they can actually, you know, the, the thing that hurts Seattle the most, and, and I don't think people will respect this, is the amount of travel they have to do. They travel further than every other team in baseball because of how isolated they are. Oh, really? In the west corner of the states. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, when I, when the I listen, closest rivalry is is in Southern California. See, when I when I right? listen to sports radio during the weekend, uh, mm-hmm. I understand statements like that. Everything else sounds like a foreign language. Yeah, they have to travel farther. <laughs> oh, I understand that. I know what that means. Yeah. All right, yeah. number thirteen is the San Francisco Giants. Really, they have them at thirteen. Um, they did lose Pablo Sandoval to uh, the Red Sox, but. Um, do not underestimate Brian Saban. And they had him at the number eight. In the San Francisco Giants. Oh, really? They were they number the eight. They won the World Series last year. In, in I have them at eight. <laughs> they did. <laughs> not me. All they right. won the World Series. All right. And this, this, again, is a bad list. Los Angeles years. Angels, number 12. 12. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's about right. I think uh, the problem is, is they're, and, and I have the Mariners better than the Angels. All right, let me. Um, the, the problem is, is their best hitter is, uh, is, is, been suspended for uh, uh, rehab. In the interest of time, uh, relapse. in the interest of time, let me just give you the top uh, from eleven down to four, and then I'll tell you the top three. Okay, eleven is Texas Rangers. No ten, way, they ten, just lost you, Darvish. Ten is Kansas City Royals. Nine, Chicago White Sox. Eight, New York Yankees. Seven, New York Mets. They put the Mets above the Yankees. That, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy okay. McGauley will like that. They're not even going to come in second place. They'll come in second place in that division behind the Marlins. Six is All Pittsburgh right. Pirates. Five is St. Louis okay. Cardinals. Four is Washington Nationals. And here's the top three. Ready? Drum roll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, Chicago Cubs. Yeah, okay. absolutely. They signed John Lester. Got two more. Uh, they got some good young players. Yep. Number two. Los Angeles Dodgers. That means they have the Red Sox one? They have Red Sox at number one. Wow. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. All right. I, I don't <laughs> think there, I think there's too many question marks around the Red Sox to put them as number one. I have the Dodgers as the best team in baseball right now. 
um, and I have the I have. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in, in, in that team. All right. But the problem is, is the leadership. Don Mattingly is not a manager. All right. He's a, we got, we he's a, th- he was a marginal baseball player. He's we, we, we got 30 seconds. I, w- I will p- give Robin the, the link to all of this, and she'll put it on. Put Rasmussen College today, Larry. Rasmussen, Rasmussen College. College. Go donate please, blood. Please Rasmussen. Please blood. Puck baseball. Right. <laughs> and and uh, if you can't get there, go next door to the Cascades on Silver Springs Boulevard. That's where Life South is. Be sure to thank Pan Flooring for sponsoring this segment. And uh, if you're in Denel, donate blood next to Winn-Dixie at the Life South location over there. Hey, we yep. did it. We got through the whole thing. Yay. Thank Thank you, Gail. Have, have a great day. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Nearly a dozen of our military members are missing after a training exercise in the Florida Panhandle. There was a mission out there last night overnight.